Hey guys, so welcome back. If you didn't notice, I'm feeling a little extra something today. So I decided I was going to make it a one branded tutorial again for affordable products this time. But I just didn't have enough of one brand. So I just did it um, affordable products in general. So there's a little bit of everything from Sonia Kashuk, which is a little bit more pricey to like Maybelline and stuff like that L'Oreal. But I have no primer, so I just went ahead and used my moisturizing gel that I got in that kit by Clinique. And just because I didn't want to have nothing before that liquid foundation. So I just went ahead and put all that on. Everywhere. And then after that, I went in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I do think that's a little bit dark for me right now, but whatever. Luckily, the powder that I have is a little bit too light, so it kind of balances each other out. And I just started with that little bit and put it everywhere. And blended it out with my yeah, quickie sponge. That was the first layer of foundation. I did do a second just because I thought the foundation, um, I just need a little bit more coverage. That's all. So I really packed it on the second time as you can tell. Okay. And of course just blended it out with that sponge again. Hopefully you guys aren't annoyed with these um, voiceover narrations. Um, they're just easier for me to do, but I promise the next one I hope will be me actually talking to you. You know what I mean, instead of me recording it after the fact. But y'all saw that was the um, Fit Me Mountain Poreless Powder. Y'all can see it's lighter than the found liquid foundation, so it kind of balances it out like I said. So it all worked out. And then I was sad because I forgot concealer and I went and bought one just to have affordably priced. Um, but I went ahead. I know you're not supposed to put liquid over powder, but I was like, man, screw it because I really wanted to use it. And it's, again, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I just put it under my eyes to brighten it up. And down my nose, forehead, upper lip, and chin. Just kind of want to bring lightness to all those areas of my face. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I powdered down with and taking that Wet n Wild Contour Highlight um, Palette. And I'm taking that um, highlighting powder, the yellowy one. And I'm just going to put it everywhere where I put the concealer. So under my eyes, nose, forehead, chin. Did you get the drift? And then after that, I think, what are we doing? We're going to move on to eyes. Sonia Kashuk palette. That's an all matte palette. I say affordable products, but honestly, you guys, this thing was expensive. It was like $20, and you'll see it's tiny. Um, but we're just going to go in with that pinky shade on a blending brush and put it all over my crease. And just blend, blend, blend. Both eyes, of course. And then just going to take a smaller blending brush, one that's a little bit more tapered and comes to a point at the top. Um, and we're going to take that color right there. It's almost like a reddish brown. I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see how it comes across. And we're just going to pretty much put it over that first color that we did. And again, don't forget to blend. We're going to take that Sonia Kashuk um, bronzer blush duo that I bought the other day and I'm going to use it on this Wet n Wild flat brush. 
if you guys can find yourself some of those wet and wild brushes i would get some that one was only like a dollar and they're pretty good um but i'm gonna take that bronzy shade and put it all over my lid i end the i did end up uh wetting the brush just so hello do you see that color it just makes it be a lot more vibrant so i dampened the brush so I could get a better color payoff. And then I'm going to take that same blending brush that we did that second color in the crease. And I'm going to take some black. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner. Of course black you want to be very careful. Because it's hard to blend out. I wasn't honestly 100% happy about how I it blended out. But it looked alright. So I just kept it. I had to work this day, so I just ended up wearing that makeup to work. But it looks good to me. And I think I, I skipped the second eye completely because like I told you guys, I was sitting here forever blending. I could you not, this video is like 30 minutes long. And I don't know how I, I cut it down to 10 minutes because I cut out all the blending parts for the second eye. <laughs> But then we're just going to take a pointed uh, brush and I'm going to, I went to the black eyeshadow and just ran it under my lash line like eyeliner. And then I take a fluffier brush with the first pinky shade that we put in our crease and blend it out. Are you tired of hearing me say blend? Because don't forget to blend. And then for our eyebrows, we're using the uh, Rimmel Brow Gel Brow This Way, whatever you're called. I'm not really sure. But again, kind of bummed because I didn't have like a pencil or anything. A brow gel is the closest thing today that I get to doing brows with affordable products. And then I'm just going to take that Wet n Wild Contour Highlight Palette again on a fluffy brush and just slightly contour and then we're gonna go back into that Sonia Kashuk duo we're gonna take the bronzy shade and try to highlight it wasn't as intense as I would have liked it but what are you gonna do I still liked it in the end how it came out and then we're gonna take the blush side of that duo and hello Blush your cheeks, girl. Looking good. And then next, we're going to go to lipstick. This is Maybelline Loaded Bolds, Bold Matte, something like that. Their new, their new line of matte lipsticks. This one, as you can tell, was probably my favorite. It's the only one that I bought. There are some that I want to buy, but some of them are so out of the box that I don't know that I would ever wear. I don't know that I would ever wear. Jeez. And then for mascara, I went into the L'Oreal Butterfly Intenza and just coated the top and bottom lashes. Until I was happy. Oh snap, look at you. She let her hair down. Um, and then after mascara, I think that's it. I hope you guys like this affordable uh, makeup tutorial. Um, but that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.